Hello everyone, how are we all doing today? You're welcome back to science class today and I'm sure we're going to have fun learning together. So are you ready to learn today? Okay, so I would like you to get your writing materials close to you, get your book, your pencil and don't forget to put on your thinking cap as well. Okay, so what are we learning about in our science class today? Let's find out. Yes, we are learning about personal hygiene. Personal hygiene. How to take care of ourselves. Yes, that's personal hygiene. How to take good care of our bodies. Okay, and today we are going to be looking at care of the mouth. Care of the mouth. Yes. Can you show me your mouth? Yes, this is your mouth. In your mouth, you have your teeth, you have your, your gum, you have your tongue. Yes, they're all in your mouth. Now, just some key words that I would like us to quickly um, run through before we start learning today's topic. These key words can be new to some of us. So let's learn what they mean. Number one, we have floss. There's something called a dental floss. We use a floss for picking our teeth. For example, if you're eating your beef or your chicken and a piece gets in between your teeth, instead of using a sharp object or your fingernail to pull it out, you're supposed to use a floss to bring it out. You're going to see how that is used later on in our lesson today. Number two, a dentist. Who is a dentist? A dentist is a doctor who takes care of our teeth. So whenever we have um, a problem with our teeth, maybe you have a toothache or you just want to check if your teeth is okay, you go to meet a dentist to check out your teeth. Number three, you have what we call cavity. We have the word Cavity over there. Cavity simply means hole. When there is a hole in the teeth. Yes, can there be a hole in your teeth? Yes, there could be a hole in your teeth. And that's called a cavity. And we're going to find out what could cause this later on. Number four, we have tooth decay. That means the tooth has been totally damaged. The tooth is now bad. It's very, very bad. It has been damaged. Okay, so that's tooth decay. Then we have tooth ache. When you feel a pain in the tooth or in your tooth, that is a tooth ache. So these are some of the words you're going to come across as we learn this topic today. Remember, we're learning the topic care of the mouth. Now, how should we care for our mouth? The first thing you must know is that to care for your mouth, you must brush your teeth. You must do what? Brush your teeth. Yes, brush your teeth. Now, how often should we brush our teeth? We should brush our teeth in the morning. Yes, like the children in the picture. You brush your teeth in the morning. Then you should also brush your teeth at night. Okay, you run through that again. You brush your teeth in the morning and you also brush your teeth at night. Very important. Okay, now what do we need to brush our teeth properly? To brush your teeth properly, you need a toothbrush. Yes, you need a toothbrush, you need a toothpaste, and you need water. You need a toothbrush, you need a toothpaste, and you need water so that you can properly brush your teeth. Good. Now, step two. Yes, to take good care of our mouth, what should we do? And what should we not do? Yes. Step two tells us about something we should not do. Now, step two says, do not pick your teeth with a sharp object. Yes, do not pick your teeth with a sharp object. Like I said that earlier on. Yes, picking your teeth with a sharp object could lead to 
your teeth having cavities remember i said cavity means a hole okay and you don't want your teeth to have a hole do you it's going to be very painful like the girl um the picture she has a cavity in her tooth and you can see she's in terrible pains so what do you do when you want to pick your teeth instead of using a sharp object what should you use yes you got that right you should use a dental floss like i mentioned before you use a dental floss can you see the picture of a dental floss yes that is exactly what it looks like like a tiny thread okay to pick the particles in between your teeth like the boy in the picture that is the way you use the dental floss so don't you put any sharp object in your teeth, in your teeth to pick any particle. Instead, you should use a what? Dental floss. You should use a dental floss. Beautiful. Remember step one said you should do a brush your teeth. And how many times should you brush your teeth? You should brush your teeth in the morning and at night before you go to bed. Secondly, what should you not do? Do not pick your teeth with a sharp object. Instead, what should you use? You should use a dental floss. Beautiful. I can see you following me. Great job. Number three. That's a step three. Something else we shouldn't do is this. Do not take too much sour, cold, or hot foods. Yes, if you take foods that are sour or too cold or very hot, it could also damage your teeth. We have some food like lime, lemon, sour grapes. Okay, we shouldn't take too much of those of those kind of foods because they could actually damage our tooth. And don't take ice cold drinks. Don't take ice cold drinks or those yummy ice cream that you love don't take too much of it especially when they are very cold you don't take food that is very hot okay it could damage our tooth and cause tooth decay it could cause cavities in our teeth and we don't want that because we don't want to suffer tooth ache okay so that's step three remember step one says brush your teeth to brush your teeth morning and night now step two says what yes do not pick your teeth with sharp object step three says do not take too much sour cold or hot foods yes step four the first says, visit a dentist at least twice a year for checkup. Yes, you should visit your dentist at least two times in a year. Yes, just to check your teeth and be sure everything is fine. And whenever you feel any pain, any ache in your teeth, don't keep quiet. Don't hide it to mommy and daddy. You should quickly um, report it to your mom or your dad or tell someone tell someone about it so that you could quickly visit a dentist okay you can get your check up from a dentist and be sure you are fine all right so you must always ensure that you take good care of your mouth all right you know we use our mouth for eating yummy food we use our mouth for talking and if you don't take good care of your mouth you won't enjoy all those goodies all right so please ensure you take good care of your mouth i know you enjoyed today's topic did you enjoy today's topic uh you sure did thank you for listening and i hope to see you in our next class all right, so go to the portal, check out the worksheet on the portal, all right? So do your work and send it back to us. We will be expecting to see your feedback, all right? So take care. I'll see you later. Bye.